First of all, um, I would like to ask you for your permission to put this uh, video on the internet for educational purpose. Do, you, uh, do I have your permission? Yes, I give you your permission. Okay. Now, I would like to ask you, uh, you had uh, back pain and pain going down the leg. And can you tell me, uh, for how long had you have those symptoms before the surgery? Um, I'd say I'd had them for at least a couple of years. A couple of years. And 1 to 10, how bad was the pain when it was really bad? Right before, before like a couple months before the surgery, it got, it got to be a 10. 10. It and, got really we, bad. and we tried all the non-surgical treatment. They did, weren't helping right. you. And we pressurized the disc as well. And we showed that two of the lower disc were, were in a bad shape. And then um, we did the surgery about uh, eight or nine months ago. Yeah, Is that correct? It was done on July 8th. Now tell me about, first of all, how long did you stay in the hospital and how did the surgery go? I just stayed in the hospital overnight. I didn't have any pain down my, my right leg. So the pain after, in the leg was right gone right the after surgery, the surgery? Right after the surgery. And, and you I was up walking that afternoon. Excellent. Now, and then you went home and um, how long did it take you to go back to your usual daily activities? I was off work for, well, we were scheduled to be off work for four weeks, but we had a lot going on that last week, so I took an extra week. Okay. So I was off work for five weeks. Okay, but generally you were back to your usual previous life within a month or so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, um, and obviously we are going through a healing process, and, you know, I'm going to swing to the pictures here and describe it and talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. And here we see that, first of all, in the back, we did a surgery between the fourth and fifth and the fifth and the S1. These are two discs we addressed. And we see in the back, the bone is growing properly. Okay. Now I'm going to swing go to the front where we put those spacers in. And we see that as well, that the white which is bone from one bone to another, the bone is growing properly. And uh, it obviously have to get a little stronger. Usually um, nine months is not enough. It takes longer to, for it to get stronger. And I'm going to put now the 3D view of it. When we turn, you see your ribs up here, your pelvis down here, and the screws that are going in. So practically we achieve with the minimal invasive technique um, the removal of the bad disc and then uh, we put uh, the discs uh, spacers and then st internally stabilize it. The fusion uh, is done but not uh, as strong as it can be maybe in another six months. Okay. Now um, I understand you have as well some other pain that we think maybe your SI joint is as well the problem. Now, um, but you know, that need to be addressed later on. Now, overall, um, what would you say uh, after the surgery, how much of your pain was gone? How many percent, how, what percentage of your pain was gone after the surgery? Well, the pain going down my leg was, down my leg was totally gone. Okay. And right away, when I woke up from surgery, it was gone. Okay, and the back pain right after the surgery, within the next two months after the surgery, how much of the back pain was gone? Oh, I bet at least 75% of it. Okay, and so the healing is an ongoing thing. Well, this is a common theme that we see, you know, the back pain, you know, slowly goes away and the leg pain is, uh, is goes faster than the back pain. But thank, thank you very much for your experience sharing it with us.